There is new unrest to report tonight in Ferguson, Missouri, after the release of new surveillance video showing Michael Brown the day he was fatally shot by Officer Darren Wilson back in 2014. That video shown in a new documentary film raising questions about whether he robbed a convenience store. But that convenience store claims the video was edited. And late today, the St. Louis prosecutor releasing the full unedited version. ABC's Steve Osinsami in Ferguson. Different people are seeing different things tonight in this newly released video from this Ferguson convenience store. Keep your eye on the box of cigarellos. That's Michael Brown Jr. the night before he was killed in 2014 by a city police officer. A filmmaker and Brown's family says what he's doing here is trading the carton of smokes for marijuana. And they believe that he leaves the carton in the store hoping to come get it later. That's not stealing the store. That interpretation matters because of this video that authorities released days after the shooting. The next morning, Brown is back at the store and what police have always described as a strong arm robbery. His one hand grabbing the cigars, his other on the storekeeper's neck. The picture they painted of my nephew was not right. Tonight, the store is adamant. They don't do layaway and they've released the full video that they say shows there was no exchange for drugs. He's going to start arguing with the, the clerk because the clerk's going to tell him, no, I'm not taking marijuana. Get out of my store. The prosecutor who refused to charge Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson agrees with the store. The suggestion that he's coming back to pick up what he bartered for is just stupid. Something that must be said, no matter what happened at this store behind me, it doesn't shed any new light on the confrontation that took place up the road between Michael Brown and Officer Darren Wilson. Legally, this changes nothing. David. Steve Osinsami in Ferguson Forest.